Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we are doing a Cali Purple um, review, basically. Um, this is gonna be part of my series I'm gonna start that is kind of, if you guys are gamers at all and you've seen game ranks, it's gonna be before you buy, but this is before you try or before you download and use it. So basically Cali Purple, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna explain what it is and everything like that before we get into it please hit that sub button, hit that like button. It helps out so much. We're almost to 3K subs, and I really am trying to get to 5K this year. I think that'd be an awesome goal that we can all achieve. So also check out the Discord below. We have some really good stuff going on in there, um, giveaways and things like that while um, leveling and all kinds of stuff in the Discord. It's a lot of fun, a good community. Okay, so first things first, when you spin up Cali Purple, if you don't know what Cali Purple is, it is Cali Linux distro that is for defensive purposes. If you don't know why it's called Cali Purple, um, most people know this in the cyber world, but if you don't, that's fine. Um, there's red teaming and there's blue teaming, and then there's what's called purple teaming. So red teaming is the offensive, blue teaming is defensive, and then purple team is usually when the offensive and blue or the red team and blue team get together and kind of work on things. So for instance give you an example um let's say you did an attack and you're the red team you got in you ransomware their whole system blah 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 blah. and then the blue team comes and says hey we saw some of your indicators we saw that you took over this machine but you're saying you took over 10 machines we only caught three of them can you show us how you did the other ones and then you go through and you show them and you guys work together and it's a very very conducive environment for learning and it's really really nice it's it's in my opinion, the best way. So Cali Purple is designed for that purpose. It is designed for defensive people. Now, if you guys have used Cali Linux, you know that this is not the normal Cali Linux. Cali Linux normally has a lot of offensive tools and not a ton of defensive tools. This actually has a ton of defensive tools, okay? And I'm going to cover some of, I'm not gonna cover them, but I'm just gonna show you guys and point out some of the tools they use, or they added specifically for this. Um, and we're gonna go through it. Now, first things first, if this is what you're trying to do for an offensive standpoint, this won't be the distro for you. This will be a distro for defensive people, which I think is an incredible idea. And the reason I say that is because it's so obvious that we don't really have a true defensive distro. We have like SE Linux and stuff like that, which is secure, but not defensively um, sock minded type stuff. So I think it's a really cool idea. I think it's kind of over simplistic in the sense that this should have been done a long time ago and nobody thought about it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and hop into it. So you can see here, You've got your typical Kali, you know, interface, your GUI, whatever. Um, but you notice here we have identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. I really like that they did this. These are tools that they're going to use to identify issues, then to protect, then to detect, then respond, recover, obviously, right? But I like that they formatted it in that way because that is um, the process that you should go through. And so they're saying, hey, check this out right? Here is your steps, if you will. Now, one thing I, I'm i looking at their um, wiki as well to show you guys the difference. So they actually have this wiki on here. It's really cool. Um, the wiki, I can put it down in the thing, but it actually tells you what um, tools are added and stuff. I will say this, the, the distro so far, I'm really liking it. The only thing I'm going to say is put a caveat on this because I will do a review later um, because this is new, right? So there's hundreds of tools in here. I haven't had a chance to go through every single one and go through it, but check it out. It's definitely something I recommend everybody look at. So you can see here, you've got some really cool forensics tools. Um, the, the original Kali Linux has forensics tools too, but it, this one seems to have a little bit more. Um, you can see that some of these will overlap as well. You'll see like DC 3DD will also be in right there in respond. So you can see that um, you're going to see a lot of those where they overlap, but it's still going to fall under those as well. So we can see here, like if we click on this, we have, it opens it right up for us. OSRF framework, boom, and there you go. So it's open in the terminal. Now you can change a lot of the settings if you don't like the colors and all that stuff. So I'm not going to critique the look of it. I think it looks okay. I don't think it's the best look. Um, one thing I will say is if you look here, they took some things from other distros, which I like. I like that. Um, I'm not hating on that. So before people say uh, 
you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I agree. I do not hate it. So one thing I like, you have documentation and you have Cali tools here. I like that homepage. Cause if you go on documentation, you can see you're going to get exactly what you want, right? The other thing, let's see if we can find it here is this actually has, uh, I don't know if what bookmarks it has. Yeah. It doesn't have it on here, but what one thing this has is Okay, it's supposed to have CyberChef built in. Let's see. We'll go to look and see. All right, so according to them, on a high level, Cali Purple consists of, and one of the things is CyberChef. Um, I'm sure it's on here. I'm just missing it. But CyberChef was, as most of you guys know that watch my channel, I do, um, I use Parrot OS. CyberChef was built in, meaning it has an offline database as well, so I can still use it um, if I'm offline. This also has that. I really like that. I've always liked that. I've always thought that that's a um, tool that's kind of necessary to have, even if you're not online, um, and I really like that. So this does have, supposedly, CyberChef on it, and I'm sure it's on here. I'm just missing it, but that's fine. Either way, CyberChef is very easy to download and use, but... This comes with it by default. I really like that. It also has Zeke, um, which is on here, which is really nice. And you guys can see. And, of course, I can't find any of the tools that I want. Let's try and do them command line. Okay. So you can see it can be installed. So that's what it is. It's, it comes automatically in the repository. You can download it and install it. Perfect. So Zeke is a really nice, popular, free um, tool that allows you to basically – do all kinds of stuff, but it's a really good log ingester that a lot of people use and intrusion detection system. So I think that Zeke is a really good tool that was missing on the first Cali um, distro. And so I think that's one of the most important cyber chef. Again, an offline version is one of the most important. Um, they do have Archimy full packet capture as well, which is if you guys haven't used it, it's a very nice tool so that you can do some log capturing and stuff like that. And you can see the nice thing is a lot of these are going to be in the correct, um, correct identity protect detect platform or you know wherever so you can see like if we click zap it's going to open it for us obviously i think that this this computer here does not have a ton of resources so when i say that don't take the speed as what it's going to be when you use it but i think that this is a very good distro i think that the defensive side of the house really needs represented in this sense and i think this is a really cool tool that every sock person whatever should have on their repertoire to be ready to and you can see the thing i like about this the most is they have these tools ready but the other thing that i like that the first cali was missing and they're they added it in later versions but it wasn't there is the different um containers up here i really like that if we go here we get a new container. We can run multiple things and keep track of them. I really like that. Parrot OS has that, and that's why I, I one of the reasons I switched now. I know Cali has it now, um, and there's different containerizations that people like and all of that stuff. The other nice thing that comes with Cali Purple is the other Cali tools. So you do have, if you look here, you will see that even though some of these, like, Hydra and these technically can be used as um, Yar, Yar is a really good tool as well. Um, but even though some of these can be used as offensive tools, they're still being put on here, John, to hack passwords and stuff like that, or crack passwords, excuse me. They are still being on here, and I like that there's still some offensive side to it. So it's not like a completely useless um, tool. But you notice like social engineering tools, they have Multigo, but they don't have set on here anymore. Um, that's where you're seeing the difference in defense versus offense. So set is doesn't really have a good purpose on the defensive purple side, except for maybe running your own campaigns with your own um, environment, that type of thing. But I wouldn't say that set is a necessity on a defensive side, kind of similar to most of the tools you're going to see in here. Now, the other thing I like is they have Cali docs in here. Now you'll see, we already went to the documentation once, but you can see, it's really nice to be able to go on here, search something, and then just look at it. So like tools, let's see. So installing Tor, Cali Tools, they have all these different things. And these are just common tools. Um, but you can see that you can do all kinds of stuff. Submitting tools to Cali. So it's actually showing you how to submit tools to improve their environment. So I think the thing I love the most about this purple is that it's going to open Cali's 
basically Cali is going to be opening up to not just offensive pen testers. And what I mean by that is a lot of people think of Cali and they go, okay, hacker only, right? I know a lot of people in defensive industries, even people that are in regular um, engineering roles that are, should be worrying about security that maybe don't use Cali because they're like, well, I don't have an offensive reason to use it, right? But this opens your eyes to it because a lot of people will start messing with it more. You can see here on the GitHub, we have all kinds. You can see they have different ISOs if you want to try a different one. I'm just using the Cali Purple. You can try the Malcolm or the Hedgehog, um, whatever you want. And then the defensive menu structure, like I said, is according to NIST, which if you guys don't know what NIST is, that's a different video. Look it up. It's a, it's a framework that's really nice. Um, you can see they say a gorgeous wallpaper and theme. Eh, I could do without the all the purple. I understand it, but I, it's just not 100% my thing. Um, you can see a reference architecture for the ultimate sock in a box. Perfect for learning, practicing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so they have a reference architecture. Um, the Kali Autopilot, an, attacker, an attack script builder. So let's see if we can find Autopilot in here. Okay, and it's probably under something else, but either way, yeah, it's it's under something else, but that's all right. Um, but you can see, I really like. Oh, it's I'm opening up the wrong thing here. I really like that um, that they have these tools and these capabilities. The wiki is really nice. You can see I'm on the wiki right now, um, and you can see the ISO file was right there. It was a quick download, pretty simple to do, and you can see here some of the stuff they're giving you now keep in mind that the big key takeaway here is all of these resources are also free right some might have paid versions or something like that but like elastic seam right here i know some people call it sim i call it seam doesn't matter um you can see it's got really nice dashboards it's free it's very nice it's it's not something that you're gonna have to go pay two hundred thousand dollars a year to use it's something that you can just go ahead and download and use right away it's already here right so you could implement you could take this cali purple and implement it today on the defensive side of the house and you'd be just fine right there's archimy and you can see there the login gesture you're looking at the different you can see the packet capture right there, ICMP, UDP. So if you're familiar with Wireshark, it's a little bit different interface, but a little bit more um, capabilities there. You can see the dashboards here from Malcolm, Hedgehog. Those are, again, the different ones that they had before. They're showing you the menus. So the wiki is very intuitive. It's very nice. And here's Cali Autopilot. So it's actually going to show you. Um, and you can see Cali Autopilot. So that's why I couldn't find it. It's specifically called Cali Autopilot. So Cali... And you can see I still can't find it, which is whatever. Um, all right, we'll look and see. Okay, so you can see Cali Autopilot under exploitation tools is what it looks like here. So let's go ahead and look. Okay, and you can see it's not there. Now, the reason this might not be there, and you guys are wondering why some of these tools aren't here that the wiki's saying, is because you have the option when you're downloading or when you're installing to choose certain things. I pretty much did about the most lightweight thing you can do, um, and that's only because I'm not going to use this, or I don't know if I'm going to use it, I should have said, um, because I was reviewing it. I'm testing it, right? So I'm trying it with different things. I'm trying different things. Um, and you can see here, this is where some of the value comes in for the Cali um, purple you can see sock in a box reference architecture so this here you look ooh, there we go um you can see uh, of course i can't scroll there we go i gotta actually scroll like this it's going to show you the actual architecture that it recommends right this helps out tremendously okay i know you might not understand it if you just look at it but it helps out so much to help because you can see that look at this they're showing you some of the things now keep in mind all of these squid proxy injinx firewall op incense a lot of these almost all of them are open source or free rdp open ssh these are free so these are resources that aren't costing you an arm and a leg that if you done correctly there are companies out there that are doing all kinds of this stuff paying a ton of money and you can see here you go the malcolm has cyber chef zeke archimy open search all of that um, so there's different distros, different things. This is just the Cali purple. Um, so there's different things that are going to do different, you know, obviously have different uh, uses. So keep that in mind when you're downloading it, looking at what you want. This is the thing I love the most about Cali purple. And the one reason I will review it in depth and use it more often 
is because right here, the contributing. So when you have a, a idea like this and you take a distro and you make it great, right? It takes time. The other thing it takes is contributions. They are willing to take people's opinions that use this every day and they're going to actually go ahead and say, hey, thank you. Let's take a look if we need to add it, if we should add it, great. If not, we're not going to. To me, that is huge because that shows that they're willing to, in a sense, humble themselves and say, we know we we make a good distro, but we didn't make the best distro in the world. That can only be done with a group effort. So I think that's amazing. Um, you can see here, they give you, they go through that and they actually show you exactly what you want. And I really like that. So I personally think this hands down is good for the community. Will I use this every single day? Um, probably not. That's my, my review is it's a great distro. I think it's amazing for, um, for people to use. I think it's more targeted for smaller companies, people learning defense, that type of thing. Um, the reason I say that is because Kali is an open source project, so it's free. Most of the resources on it are free, but keep in mind that there are tools out there that do better and they cost a lot. And what the only reason I say that is because a large corporation is probably not going to download Kali Purple and just implement their, their sock in a box the way they're saying. Um, but a small organization might, a small company might be able to do that. Now, where the value lies is a large corporation might take Cali Purple and take some of those tools and integrate them in a sense where they're having multiple redundancies of the same type of um, thing. They might also have where, hey, we have this really great tool, but it's missing one little feature and we can grab Cali Purple and implement it to get rid of, or not get rid of, but um, supplement that feature that you're missing. So, I think Cali Purple is a tremendous idea, great resource. I think everybody in the cyber industry, red team, blue team, purple team, anything should be download this and try it. But I think the differences you're going to notice pretty quickly, especially if you're familiar with Cali Linux as a whole, is you might go through here and be like, "Okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do this, right?" And then you hop in, and you're like, "Um, that doesn't that tool is not in here." Exactly. And that's okay. That tool is not in there because of the fact that that tool is probably an offensive tool, right? Um, you can see here's all the tools and you can see there's a lot of really good stuff, but you're going to notice there's a lot of the offensive tools missing. I think that's nothing wrong with that. That's smart. Again, the other thing that's nice about this tool is the repositories are still there. So it's not like you're going to go through and you can't download every offensive tool that Cali has. So it's not like you couldn't turn this distro into an offensive, defensive, purple team, freaking insane box. You'd have to have the resources, obviously. But it's not like you couldn't do that. It's out of the box, a defensive-oriented machine. And I like that. But it has still has some capabilities that I really think they nailed in the sense of, okay, Maybe I don't have the offensive capability to hack into something, which I, you probably do on this box because it still has um, Metasploit and stuff. But let's say I hack into something and then pull it. They still gave me the ability to like crack passwords and stuff like that. Those are still things that you should be doing as a blue teamer. You should still be checking your hashes and still be trying to crack those things. So I think they did a really good job of keeping the offensive tools that are needed, but getting rid of the fluff. And I think that's huge because that's one of the reasons I switched to Parrot. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Kali has so much fluff. It has so many tools that they're all great, but they're not all needed, right? So I think that's huge that they kind of got rid of some of that. The requirements are very small to run this. Um, the terminal is very clean, very nice. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the, the uh, background and all the logo. And I think it's great. I think it's fine. I, I, I personally think it's fine. I don't think it's great. They're saying it's an amazing theme or whatever, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's amazing. But I think the Cali Purple as a whole is a tremendous idea. I think that people like you and people like me need to contribute to this and give our ideas in order to grow this. And this is just a very basic review to show you guys what you're buying or buying what you're downloading and understand what you're getting into. 
And then, like I said, maybe a year from now, we'll see how it progresses and we'll do a in-depth review to show, okay, it's had some legs, it's had some time. Now let's see what its actually purpose is before we just jump in and say, this tool's great, this tool's great, this tool's great, because those are tool reviews. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing an OS review. And I think this is a little bit light, more lightweight, definitely defensive minded and a great tool that I think everybody in the cyber industry should at least download and play with and start looking at if you're maybe missing some, some of those defensive techniques that are in here in your day-to-day life. Thanks guys. And hopefully this helped you guys before you download.